Hello, oh, this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and you know who I am. Well, I'm back for some more punishment. I'm uh, continuing to experiment with this broomstick antenna. And so we're going to try a couple more things today just to see if we can get into what this thing is doing. <clears throat> so I've got it hooked up to my Grundig 450 and um, I've got it tuned to WWV on 10 megahertz which is not coming in too good at all but maybe it'll get better as the video goes on. So we're going to turn the volume up. It's there. Pretty weak. And this is on the external telescopic antenna. Now I'm going to switch over to I'm going to switch over to the external antenna, the broom antenna. And remember, um, last time when I tested this, when I had it cooked up correctly using the coax cable um, connected to the back of this radio, and I did ver verify this is the right connector, um, I wasn't getting anything. So here we go. Internal. External. Does a good job of reducing the noise, but there's no signal there. Nothing. Which is what I saw before. Now, let me turn this off. And what I did before is I disconnected the coax cable. And I'm going to have to stand up for that. And I'm going to have to get a wrench to get down in there. And we'll disconnect it. And this is 75 ohm cable. F type connectors. Which is what's on the back of this radio. Don't ask me why they're using F type. But they are cheap I guess and we'll take it off I mean uh, take the connector loose there we go okay. it's not the best cable in the world but we're getting there I say we're getting there you come on you son of a God. There. Oh my gosh. I have a heart attack here. Okay, now what we experimented with before was we just used the center conductor and uh oh, where's my handy dandy gadget? Oh, I'm going to be totally wasted here. Where's my paper clip? Can't do any experimenting without a paper clip. Oh, what did I do with my paper clip? Oh. Ah. It's over on my other bench. Why it's over there, I have no idea. It's my handy dandy tool. Solves a lot of problems. Poke that into the center conductor. And then I'm going to hook this up. And we're going to make sure that we're not grounded there. Turn the radio around real carefully. Turn it back on. And we'll go to internal. A lot of noise. But you can hear it. Uh, this is um, 12 hours, 13 minutes UTC. We'll go to external. Maybe it's slightly better, but basically the same. And that's what we saw before. Except we don't have the broomstick antenna connected. It's sitting over there in my workshop. 
totally disconnected. So what does that tell you? That tells you the broomstick antenna was doing absolutely nothing. I could have taken and put a tomato on the end of this coax and it probably would have worked better, although it probably would have shorted out the coax. So as I had guessed and many people indicated, all you was seeing here when I disconnected the cable from the radio, meaning now the ground or the shield was not connected to the radio, then I was just using the center conductor of the coax cable as the antenna, which is not very good because it's got that shielded cable around it. And in this configuration, that shielded cable is not grounded. I probably will get a better signal if I connect to the shielded part because it's on the outside. And let's see what happens. Let's see, I'm on internal. Yep, I'm in external. Turn the volume up. I'll disconnect. So I get nothing. And then I'll connect to the um, shielded part of the coax cable. And it's about the same. Center. Oops. No, center's better. And we'll flip back to internal. And that's that's louder uh, overall, but um, the noise level comes up with the signal. And so it's not as good as using the center <laughs> conductor of the coax cable. And what I did is I let the antenna down and I disconnected the boomstick antenna and then I took the the um, cord that was holding the antenna up in the tree and I wrapped the cord around the end of the coax and pulled the coax back up in the tree uh, hanging from the tree it's not touching anything on the tree and I'm getting the same effect as if I had the boomstick antenna connected and only using the center conductor of the coax cable. So that antenna is not doing anything. Now the question is, is that normal for that antenna? You know, maybe it's not that good of an antenna, or is there something wrong with the design of the antenna? Or is the antenna just broken? Is there something broken inside? Maybe the, the connector came loose uh, in shipping and it's not connected to the wire that's round, round, wound, wound around the broomstick. I don't know. The next step, if I choose to take it, <clears throat> is to get the old Dremel tool out and do some surgery on that antenna and see what's going on inside. Now, I checked it this morning and it's got caps on either end and the caps are well glued in. So it's not going to, I'm not going to be able to break those caps loose to look inside. I'm going to have to cut them off. So that's the next, qu next question. Do I do some surgery on that antenna and completely destroy it, but find out what's going on inside? So that's the show. Tell me what you think. Bye-bye.